Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. Set building update. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, just got a quick update here of the last couple breaks of 2018 Ginter and 2018 Heritage towards both of those set builds. Sadly, I think this was just from a fat pack frenzy of 2018 Ginter. Only two cards added to the Ginter set. So that's kind of a bummer. As you heard me say, uh, I tend to see that you get about one pack per blaster's worth of cards towards a set build. Um, haven't really calculated what you get towards a hobby box. But uh, here's the active list. Let's see if I can get it a little further back here. Of If you want to pause or anything and you can sort of see how much further there is to go. Quite a bit. Uh, but still marching towards it. So a lot of people have emailed me and offered to send cards. Uh, so here's the list of the 2018 Ginter, if you uh, are playing at home. Uh, and now the, uh, the Heritage. So this was from the last episode of The Heritage Chronicles. As you can see, a pretty nice stack. This is going to be the regular base and high number. Just flip through them pretty quickly here. It's fun when you get a lot of cards for the set, so I've already marked these off my list. And as a, this is a great Caratini, just a really nice sh shot here. Cool dark background. Kind of dig that card. Fun Eric Cosmer. Uh, I'll show the list here as I get to the end. Nice David Bodie. Cool Cespedes too. That's a might be a favorite of mine. I just like the pose, like the background. You got the clouds back there. Cool shot. Chris Davis. Some of these I'm just surprised I didn't pull them. Like Kimbrel. I thought for sure I'd already pulled that. So I'll uh, get those into the coalition. And here is the list of heritage. It's a big one. Like I said, this is the mother. This is the beast set to build right here. And it's two-sided because those short print 400s. Uh, so you can see here, 39 cards added uh, on the 9th of December. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, we're plugging along here. Those 400s are tough, though. Uh, but there's, uh, there's where we are in the set building. Uh, so go ahead and, you know, if you want to go back and look at the list and you want to email me and let me know if you got anything you want to send over. I still have a little bit of heritage to break, a little bit of Ginter to break. Uh, and also I'm pretty excited about the 2017 Ginter set, a little bit more of that to break, uh, but certainly not going to have enough cards to build out the set. Uh, I'm getting word from the guys in the truck that the tarp can come off the field because we're going to open something. All right, we all love opening this up. You gotta keep ripping. Uh, so what are we gonna rip? We're gonna rip a Fairfield, a Walgreens Fairfield. Why? Because I got it for free. Uh, I don't usually buy these. Sometimes they're irresistible, but uh, I had enough points built up that 5,000 Walgreens points basically is the 4.99, and you get this for about 40 cents or 60 cents, give or take how much the tax is. Uh, so I was like, yeah, okay. I'll take a free box of baseball cards. Maybe give away a bunch of them. Always remember, go in through the bottom. And uh, still hunting to see if I can get lucky with one of those Bryce Harper rookie cards. I think the ones you see where people pull the trout, I think that's fake news probably. Um, but I do know people have pulled the Bryce Harper. And I don't have a Bryce Harper rookie card, so I figure, what the heck? For free... See if we get lucky. Wow, that's a lot of pirates in a row. Jeez, I got the pi man alive. I got the pirate deck here. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, this is the set, right? Team set. Yep. So I basically have the whole team set here. I'm calling BS on that. That's junk. Too low. Wonder where he's gonna go. That's a cool George Springer card. 
As always, check the description below for the link to the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship. If you like to make a pledge, pledges get cards. That's how I do. Another Garrett Cole. That is something I've noticed out of these. You do get a lot of the set builds, which is kind of crappy. Or, the, you know, the, the team set cards. Well, take a Future Stars. Let's see what else we got here. Man, Jace Peterson has played for almost every team in the league, it seems like. Nice DD. I've pulled this before as well out of these. So, uh, Javi Baez, Future Stars card. Might have to send that to somebody. Maybe a Cub fan out there. I know Natalie Wu is a big uh, Baez fan. Ooh, nice Sean Dunn. Wow. That's interesting. I don't remember these being so matte finish. That's interesting. Sean Dunstan was a great player back in the day, though. Big Paul O'Neill. Basically got junk, junk, junk. Junk, junk. That's lame. This is why you don't want to waste your money on these sorts of things. But if you can get it for free, why not? Tim Hudson. There's a name from uh, the Wayback Machine. I always thought, just a little side note here on Tim Hudson, this should be illegal. I feel like if you're a pitcher and you have a forearm tattoo and you're the batter, that's a distraction. Uh, your eye can automatically be drawn to that and I feel like it gives you an unfair advantage. I knew looking at the side of the box it was going to be these big baseball cards. Uh, every one of the Fairfield boxes had that, so it wasn't like I could pick and choose they were all they all every box almost had uh, the pirates on the front but it's just a little something flip through some old junk cards this is why your late 80s early 90s cards are worth zero i was just reading an article on that they were the zero hey nice for hawk Bip. One of my favorite players as a kid, uh, working on an OT retro of Bip. Grew up, he played in the minor leagues in my hometown. Fan favorite, Speed Demon. That's a cool stadium club, Barry Larkin. You're not going to get anything really of value out of here, but is that another Bip? All right. See, for me, that's fun. I mean, you're just getting guys from when you were a kid. Bippa uh, is a broadcaster, I believe, for the Oakland A's still. I don't know if he does the, um, like the, the studio show or if he actually is a broadcaster, but I know he's up in the Oakland area. Nice early 80s cards. Oh, cool, Pudge Rodriguez. Oh, that's a nice one. Hawk, you'll have to let me know if you have that one. Working on uh, your little holiday pack. Might have to throw that in there. That's just a cool-looking Andre Dawson card for sure. Cool pinnacle. Hall of Famer Craig Biggio. Still with the foil on it. Marquise Grissom. A guy who should have had a better career, but didn't have too bad of a career. Hmm. Doesn't unfortunately I have to just send out Gary uh Gary S sent out your package. Should have put that in there. I'll have to keep it off to the side. Well, no uh Bryce Harper. Wah wah, but some fun cards to throw in spoils packs. Let's see who we got here in the big card. Ooh, hey, you know what though? That's fun. That kind of makes it worthwhile, right? Should be a Hall of Famer. I definitely don't have this card. Because it's not like I was buying a lot of these big jumbo cards. Another Hall of Famer, Rock Reigns. And Chuck Finley. Well, there you have it. Sort of a silly, fun little break uh, of those silly, fun little Fairfield boxes. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're uh, thinking about building a set of your own. If you need any help, uh, definitely check out Hawk to the Rescue. Uh, he does uh, little rescues, uh, uh, sending cards to people, building out sets. 
Uh, so a fun little thing to check out on his channel. Appreciate you watching. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.